Scientists! To another edition of Maximum Fame. I am Daryl. And I am Larry. Tonight we'll be talking to Dr. William Patterson, who is a scientist in the field of space. But first, the news. In world news, the Spanish have all died. Nationally, the people in Virginia have herpes. And in local news, Board of Aldermen member Rick Jones has left the building. Now we turn to sports. Where hockey players are still playing on the ice. And always, the weather. It's what happens outside. And in the field of science, it has been discovered that gerbils are in fact real. We didn't know. Now we do. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Daryl. And now, to your calls. But first, this commercial. Paulson Formal Wear. Surfing the greater Ohio area for all your formal occasions, choose Paulson Formal Wear. Weddings, dances, business meetings, and church services. We will make you look good, whatever the need to be neat, at Paulson Formal Wear. Keeping you classic classy since 1974. That's Paulson Formal Wear on Revis Boulevard, across from the open lot. Paulson Formal Wear. And we go to the phones where we have a young caller calling in Maximum Fade. You are on the phone. What is your scientific inquiry? Caller. Caller on the line with us now. This is an important show. Many people are listening at home, including you. Hello. You're Hello. on with Maximum Fade. Yeah, I had a question for, uh, is, is this a... Is a space scientist tonight? Yes, we uh we have a very he will uh be part of our show very shortly. Uh, well, I actually had a question because I wanted to know. Do you know? Is it? Do you think I can get in trouble if I if I shoot a gerbil into space? If I like on a homemade rocket, you know? I uh, do believe that would uh piss Pete off. Well, sure, but but can I get in trouble? Uh, there's yeah, there's definitely some animal cruelty, cruelty, cruel, you, cruel. I mean, Cor- 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 There's Cor- correlating rules uh, that state uh, you, you shouldn't. You know, rodents, they've been there. They don't need more up there. Uh, yeah, gerbils have been in enough tubes. I can tell you that right now. I thought that you didn't even know they existed until this week. Well, the key to good science is good research. What? Huh? Hello? Hello, yes. Caller, you're on with Maximum Fade. He's. he's I, I've been on. Uh, just, what are you talking about? Daryl, what is that? What? Well, okay, actually, come out here. Come out here. Uh, okay. We, we uh, I, I built this spaceship. Built the spaceship? It doesn't, does it actually work? Call it, this doesn't, uh, yeah. The we caller actually, can be in on this. He can. Yeah, uh, this actually, yeah, it does work very well. Yeah. I built this myself. Uh, it is, uh, fully functional and, uh, Sir William Herschel spent a lot of time looking at the stars. Uh, we need to be there. Uh, I built this spaceship. We need to go. Yeah, I'm not getting in that. I think you should get into this. Because you do not know what you're doing. Listen, no. See, right here, we open this part right here, and yeah. you can just get in. Yeah, right there, yeah. You, there's no door. It's, that's a window. No, look. Here, I'll just, uh, you can just open it like this. See? Here, you should get it. No, no. If we're ever going to have uh, a real reputation in the world of, uh, uh, you should get in. It's important. You'll fit. All right, fine. Listen, all right, yeah. Uh, here, I'll give you a little boost. You just, you just, okay, put yep your hand up in. Right there. Yep. No. Uh, all, right. all right, uh, yeah, um, I'm coming in, uh, right behind you, so just squirm all the way through. Okay, that, uh, that doesn't feel right. Yeah, there. Hey, uh, I'm coming up. I'm coming behind you. I gotta get a chair though. I gotta push this chair over here. Uh, all right, all right. I'm uh, all right. I really don't understand what I'm doing with yeah, this rocket um, ship right now. Well, uh, uh, we're we're gonna go to space. Here, uh, let me introduce you to William. Uh, William, uh, this is our astronaut. He is our uh, pilot for the vehicle. Excited to be here, guys. Yeah, excited to be here tonight. Yeah, it uh, is. I'm also excited. Yeah, I uh, I am too. I, uh, I I've spent all week designing this rocket. I think we're gonna die. I, don't, I think I, we're not uh, gonna make it very far. Dr. William Patterson is a expert astronaut. Yeah, I've flown many Cessnas. Yep. Yeah. You've had many what? I have a, I have a small pilot's license. Yeah. You couldn't expect me to be qualified to, to both 
build a rocket and fly one. It, it is very different fields. Anyways, uh, I, I'm going to die. No, not at all. Look, don't die, no, don't don't push on that. Uh, uh, hey, wait, uh, don't, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hit these switches. I don't think you're gonna want to touch no, that. No, no, this is I a bad. Think, no, no, yeah. What's this one? Listen, we should oh, listen. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, well, you're, that's uh, not right. Here, this okay. is okay. I, it, I, yeah. Alright, it's, it's, He's, listen, the sooner we get out of his way, the sooner he can take us into space. Alright, just sit there. Yep. So, Alright, well, let's, are we going? We're, we're, Where are we, we just going? Have to put the, we're exactly out. in space. Put the belt over yourself. Okay, okay. alright. Do we need three people helping you doing this? Well, who else? Is, who's just, the third just person? clip the thing just, through. All right, yeah, fine. Look, I'm, I'm just going over here. Fine. If, if you don't have the seatbelt on, we can't go. To, we can't go. To no, space. don't push the button yeah. over there. Where did you get that? Listen, I've had that, the throw that. Have you the seen door. that? No, throw that. No, the no. entire time. The no. goes in the mini fridge before we yeah. can leave. Oh, we, we fine. Can't, we can't. Listen, every ounce matters when you're going into outer space. Just clip the clip. So look, look what I've done. I don't I've done, understand. I've done it and not done it three times. Yeah, just all right. there. Gosh. All right, Doctor William, your instructions. Uh, we are at your behest. Get us into outer space. We are going to proceed from there. Well, initially, Larry, I'm gonna need you to buckle up. Uh, we're gonna buckle. Larry, you uh, just I, buckled I, up. I, I don't. You already got it. I saw you. Just, well, I you had got to, clipped within this, a minute. Yeah. Uh, to go get the. P I want. Well, you. the p good. Here, give that back. All right. I, I know. A great this is man. not even gonna come out to outer space with us now. Look, we have to give these things up. These privileges are earned. Put your seatbelt back on. All right. Well, Matt Damon didn't do it. Well, Matt Damon is an actor. You are going to outer space. That was a great documentary. That's actually the basis of this entire. Wait, it's been the docu. Yeah, I, I also thought it was a documentary. Yeah. First thing that crossed my mind. I don't think it was. Oh, oh yeah. I, I mean, think it, was, it, was, it was all. I think it was. He all was CGI. gone for years. Listen, uh, they they superimpose this stuff nowadays. It looks very real, but it's uh, it's all miniatures and a little set. Trust me. I know how this works. All right, are we going right, to go to space? Gonna, we can go. Let's go past it. I am uh, the one who made this. The ship's a little island. shoddy. The ship's a little shoddy. I'll be honest. It's literally not, no. Literally. It's not like great. It's uh, this is, this is a hybrid design. It's a. It's made of mostly toasters. No, that is actually not. It looks like one, but it also makes toast. It's, it's not, not a toaster. It's a. No, it's no. a feature. Thank you. And this is for sale when we re-enter. So. You got the money. We got the we got the rocket. I don't think we're gonna land it in any sort of uh, as well, is selling condition. I thought you said, listen, uh, William. You, you know we should probably press these four switches first. I mean, uh, you did. Uh, yeah, we're gonna the ones that say start under them. Well, that one. We're gonna have to hit that one. Okay, push it. Okay, I'm, all right. Uh, there it is. Uh, I think yeah, that's releasing hard. stuff. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. Uh, we gotta ignite that, right? Uh, it's either gonna be burnt toast or we're about to hit the whole flame. So we're gonna okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, I got Larry, confidence in you. Larry, I'm gonna need you to flip the switch right next to you. That's gonna be. It's gonna be. This one. It's Larry. gonna have a lot of fire. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, oh no! 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 no, no not no, that no, one, no, huh? No, okay. No, all right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, the right. one left of that. Left uh, of that. Oh, switch. this yeah. one. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, do we just, have somebody on the on the phone? No. What? Oh. That, what? Uh, this is, this that light like, literally looks. This please don't touch the light. That's another. That's a different indicator. I'm sorry. That's a different indicator. He took a good look. We cover up the light. This light. Yeah. Uh, look, no, 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 when was the last time your moot friend coaxed you into rolling that one last dinner before you took off? You roll that skinny thing up, but you use your tactical roach clip to keep your hands neat and clean. Even though you're smoking paper, your gesture pleases your friend. But now, you realize your keys have been locked in your car. With tactical roach clips, you can knock out that pesky door window no problem. Now you got your keys. Easy. Get your good. Keep your keys. Tactical roach clips. And we're back. Am I on 
with maximum fade. Uh, we're on outer space maximum fade. I'm way too close to you right now. Yeah, uh, first caller in outer space. What is your scientific inquiry? What's going on with the show? You guys are like in a ship? Listen, right? you, I, I, we I, are I, here I, to take science to the outermost limit. So you got actually been on outer space. You're calling somebody who is in outer space. We're high as hell. Out there in the mesosphere, as they say. Uh, actually, uh, we're, we're in the horse head nebula. Uh, listen, uh, things go our way. We might be touching the moon one day. Okay, well, I was just calling to try to get some bearings on, on where, where in space and time we were. Yeah, I don't know. I'm way too high for this, to be honest. Larry and I realized long ago, if I ever was able to craft a spaceship, we would take the show to outer space. That's that where we come to you from today. That sounds right. That yeah. all sounded right. It is. And we're out here taking your calls, finding out what you want to know. Science in space tonight on Maximum Fade. Back after this. Turbo Limbus in the extreme motorsports and boring. Big wheel. Turbo Limbus. Small wheel. Turbo Limbus. Two, two wheels. Turbo Limbus. No wheels. Turbo Limbus. ATVs. Turbo Limbus. Jet ski. Turbo Limbus. Three wheelers. Turbo Limbus. Four wheelers. Turbo Limbus. Fifth wheeler. Turbo Limbus. Go kart. Turbo Limbus. Jet ski. You know it's Turbo Limbus. We said. Jet ski! You know it's Turbo Linda. Are you the third wheel? Not Turbo Linda. Come on down! To Turbo Linda's Motorsports and Boy. We no longer install batting cages. And we're back. Caller, you're on with the maximum. Caller, what is your name? Hey, it's Tommy. Tommy, Tommy why? Uh, this is. I heard something really weird happening downstairs. What are you guys doing? We are not there. Ah, uh, and you are not somebody who knows us. Tell Karen to take the phone and not. She used to leave it on top of the refrigerator. Karen said I can, Karen said I can call you guys whenever. I, I, you no, guys she no, she, she didn't. She knows how no. stern we are when we talk to no. her about you calling in. You have cable TV. Who is that, that guy? You guys came in with earlier? He William Peterson. A William, a renowned astronaut, uh, able to fly amazingly designed space shuttles into the outer troposphere. Is that what all those cardboard boxes were? No, that uh, that was his house. He smelled kind of. Fun. Yeah, well. He lives in carnivore boxes, Tommy. You, you know, you can't just afford the luxuries of soap. Listen, Tommy, uh, you, there's a lot of I was getting ready to go to bed. Can you guys kind of keep it down, though? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're not even down there. We're Tommy is really late to the party. Yeah. And the party it is up here in outer space where scientific research has reached maximum fate. All right, caller. You're on with maximum fade. So high above you, hey, caller. You're on the phone with maximum fade. So the reason I was calling, so you guys are you're actually out there. Well, are you guys going to do any research on the, any of the gravity bond research that? Uh, oh, very interesting. We're get in there. We were so happy you brought this up uh, unasked. Uh, are we going to do the research or not? What? What's, we what's are going, going to do on? the research. Uh, very soon, I have to pull that down out of a cabin above. Uh, listen, we knew what everyone was going to ask. Does a gravity bong work in anti-gravity? We've seen a lot of discussion on this. We're here to gonna, we're going to try this, but first, Larry. Um, are you going to try to publish results, perhaps, or are you? Using oh, we were planning on doing it live on the radio. Live you, on the radio, of course. Uh, we live have on the radio. Do you want to elaborate more about? Well, if Larry would just get up and move, you can. I don't want. I don't want to. Yeah, you've got all this space over here where you could be and see. I gotta get into the shelf space. that's basically right behind your left shoulder. That's where we're keeping the gravity bond. Oh. Well, if you write a journal, or if you get into a journal about it, rather, I mean, I would read the article and it's. Oh, all right. Well, it, obviously, across the. There uh, are many journals of science we have tried to publish to. I don't know why. I think it's because we're so advanced, but. We're just not, uh, you know, if you know a guy, uh, a jury of, uh, you know, listen, we're in space. We are in space. There's a lot we're learning up here. Well, there's a lot of speculation as to whether or not this is actually going to work. It's, uh, it, it, it's appropriate to think that maybe you would need uh, the specter of gravity to, to hold a, a liquid mass together in such a way that you would be able to create a vacuum 
utilizing the liquid mass that would draw a combustive element uh, into a, a contained space, thereby giving you access to vaporized THC. Well, when uh, you do the trials, make sure you uh, record that stuff right. I'm going to get off the phone. Listen. Larry, you're the best. Daryl, you're the worst. We'll I do to, agree. We'll talk to you guys later. I do believe that smoking through the gravity bomb will be quite simple in space due to the pure fact of inertia and movement. Well, uh, speaking of movement, if you'd like to move, I, I do not that. want. I am comfy where I am. Listen, uh, we can't do this experiment if you just sit there. All right, fine. Here. Um, yeah. All right. Here. Uh, this is a. This is not a gravity bong. This is a six pack of Pepsi. There oh, you. yeah. There there, it's not like we get to. This is not. Listen, Daryl, life's not as simple as you see it. How much were you gonna drink up here? I, I mean, we're gonna. I thought we were gonna be up here for a while because I didn't think we were gonna really like even make it up here. Rationing this, put this back and sit back down. All right, fine. All right, caller, you're on with maximum fate. Caller, what is your question for us? Hey, 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 that was a whole lot for me to process, and I did not, I did not get that. Losing. <laughs> What kind of movies are you watching? I uh, usually uh, the one about the Chihuahua that has the island, I believe, and uh, all the dogs live there. And they're all happy. The Shawshank Redemption. No, y'all. That's no. <laughs> yeah. No. And they said oh. we wouldn't make it and be alive in outer space. Uh, my neighbors had a lot to say this week when I was building this thing outside in the front yard. And now again. For your delicious center of the show. When we talk about this week's snack of the week. Fried pickles. And back to the phones. Caller, you're on with Maximum Fade. Please, tell us your scientific inquiry. Tell us it immediately, right <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, Larry, you're the best. You're so much fun. Hey, uh, I forget your guest name. What's your guest name again? Dr. William, William Patterson. Peterson. Dr. Dr. William. Dr. William. Willie. It's Will. It's William. Dr. Pete. Dr. Pete Patterson. Patterson. With a D. Patterson. I am. Patterson. We have grown to have quite brevity being in outer space together. I have taken to calling him Willie. It's it's William. Willie! Well, well Doctor. I have heard people call him Billy Buckerson. Uh, that was I, about 30 seconds ago during our commercial break. Billy? But that, that's William. It's William Patterson. Doctor. Doctor. Bill Billy Bucker. What are you a doctor in? Space? That's what I was going to ask. Doctor, t tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I, uh, I, f I first learned to f love to fly uh, when I was very young, when my grandfather took me up in a plane and attempted to kill both of us by jumping out of the plane and leaving me to fly it. So I uh, crash-landed into a hospital that went pretty well until I got a little older, and then I started going to school, and I got my, uh, I got my, I got my doctorate. Uh, I got it pretty quick, and then I ended up uh, learning how to fly planes. And, uh, so. What a heartwarming story. Yeah, the doctorate, uh, I, I Googled uh, a doctorate in space, and you could just pay someone $79, and they just send you a degree. It's mm -hmm. like a, it's that, a new world. It's a, wow, that yeah. is impressive. I did the same thing. I have a doctorate in busking. Yeah, it's a, it's a different world today with the amount of education that's just available at a, at a cheap cost. Honestly. And the respect you get. Introducing yourself as a doctor, that's something... And your degree is on the back of a Chinese menu. Going Listen. to many conferences. Yeah, I've spoken at many conferences. I'm speaking at one right now. It's a, it's a, honestly, it's a, it's 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 my it's my America. It is. 
I uh, thank you, Doctor Willie Patterson. It's we William. we appreciate you flying our uh, spacecraft. How long do you expect us to be able to be up here before we have to return to Earth? I imagine we got a, a solid thirty-nine minutes to a, to a couple months. I believe we are stuck here forever. I think uh, I fully uh, designed this ship to be able to re-enter and uh, with great possibility of success. It's a, I, I believe this ship is more of a glorified kitchen appliance on fire, but we're really hoping to get back. I, I would love to get back just... Uh, Poetic metaphor. I, well, I have a doctor I'm... coming in the mail this week, and I'd like to add that because I have to go coach uh, the U.S. men's basketball team. I'm feeling this. the hunger. Who's going to go down first? Well, I don't know. Who's I, getting boiled? I have a doctor in Taekwondo, so I, I would say that I wouldn't want to fight me. How much did that one cost? It was, uh, about $39, and I had to also teach his kids six months of piano lessons. I could use another Pepsi. I, uh, I think I'm going to go into the other room real quick. I need to grab my keys. Other, other room? Other room. Uh, it's good. I got a side room. I got my uh, this whole time, room. there's been more space somewhere. And we've been in cramped in here. I don't remember designing this. Hold it, on. What is your problem? What is your other room? I have a, I have a, I have a doctorate in architecture, and I just added this, some, some floor plans. Here? Here? Wow! Look at all this space. That Ooh, is, what? it's really not that much. No, look, no, come around the corner here. Wow! Look at all, wow! Oh. Oh, I didn't realize. It's a, yeah, you know, the amount of uh, wall wall flags I have hanging, it's, it makes it look a little bit bigger than it is, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you have a lot of weed yeah. just laying around. Yeah. yeah, this is quite a room. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of weed in this room. Yeah. Uh, callers, we'll be back with your inquiry after a uh, break. And we're back with Maximum Fade in a bigger room than we were in before. This is fantastic, William. I'm glad you built this. I felt really cramped. I just don't understand why we needed to be. I mean, this is kind of nice. Well, I just, you know, there's part of me that knew that you guys wouldn't appreciate it. Is this unless a we Persian had... carpet? It's, uh, it was very expensive. Listen, it was, I, I know. It really ties this all together. Though. I, uh, uh, lovely end tables you chose here. I, uh. Well, a lot of this is Ethan Allen. Uh, oh, yeah. I had them come in and furnish it, uh. Interesting. I, uh, I, I'm glad you picked uh, this here. This is a uh, fantastic. Oh, uh, wait. This looks like the one we have in the studio. Yeah, it does. What is it? Oh. Turn on that light. Turn. Wait. Wait, this is. This is. This is. Wait, what is this again? This is the studio. I think this is the studio. Like, they look. Did we land already? Yeah, I, I, yes. We never went anywhere, did we? we I, landed. La I landed. No, I landed. I think he landed. I designed the ship to do that. This I is, don't think we left. No, I think we did. The 80% like, sure we did not leave. Larry, you hit the ignition button. Yeah, we were in outer space. That's where those phone calls were. Well, I hit happening. a lot of buttons. Yeah. And you're on with Maximum Fade. Uh, we have just returned from outer space. Hey, man. Uh, have you ever been in space, scholar? I've never been in space, and I'm a skeptic. I don't think anyone has ever been in space. We just got back from the there. Was the moon land. It was uh, awesome. I, I think I agree with Larry. You guys probably just never went anywhere. No. So, uh, no, so I don't think. So stoned out of your freaking heads. You no. just don't know. No, you don't know. Uh, we looked out the window. We saw a lot. Listen. There's a lot of things outside of windows. There what, was what, are you guys, what are you guys doing down there? We witnessed a lot of outer space outside our window. And okay, it okay, okay. Well, I have a question. No. I have a question. All right. All right. So, would the O2 scrubbers in your rocket ship handle, like, big plumes of weed? Or would you guys not really know because you just never went anywhere? I'll take my call. We went a lot of places. Uh, just because we weren't able to bring cameras along with us doesn't mean we didn't witness what we saw. Listen, there was uh, budgetary constraints. I couldn't just strap a, a camera here and there. Listen, there was a lot of fuel. And as for O2 scrubbers, I don't know if I'd be wanting to scrub O2 out of the air for uh, combustion of elements unless I was using laser technology, which we'll be exploring later. 
next week. But first, these sponsors. Church. It's church. It's church. It's church. Go to church. It is cool. You can go to Sunday school. It's church. You can go to Sunday school. It's church. It's your church. mama getting on your nerve. You check out this cool Bible verse. It's, it's church. It's church. It's church. Oh my God, you were late to put oh that money in the collection. You were late. It's church. It's it's church. Man, it's church. It's church. Man, it's church. It's church. We would like to. We would like to thank Dr. William Patterson. For being on the show. For more information about space, visit your nearest internet browser and type in space. And remember, if you need car service, visit a garage. And if you need clean windows, visit the toilet. Okay guys, so I'm making french fries, um, I need to get them out of the Dutch oven. All I have is this skillet from when I cooked a cheeseburger. Um, I thought this would be a good thing for you guys to see. First, first, okay, well that's not, that's not the best, but it's not terrible. Okay, let's see, here's some more. Okay, oh. So it starts off, it starts off better than it ends up. And let's see, maybe this, oh yeah, that one's not so bad. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Wait, let's see if we can, let's scoop them all, let's round them all up, cowboy style. You know? Herd them up, round them up, round up the herd. Okay, mm that worked all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This one's the one. Oh, not so much. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh. At least it's not turds, right, guys? That's all I'm saying. Mm. Oh, you get the idea.